I just want to say just a quick note about registration. What I tell everybody is you need to look at what is offered in the summer because a lot of upper level classes are not offered in the summer. Um, you want to take your upper level classes in the spring and fall. And if you guys are interested in mechanical, I have a flow chart of all the mechanical classes and in what order you can take and which ones you can take together. I've got some electives that might be really good in and out of our department. So don't ever hesitate to ask if you could take uh, an elective outside our department, if you think it would actually help your chances in the field of getting, you know, work, if it's relative in some way, because you, people don't know that you can ask to substitute something for an elective. You can substitute in something else for an elective. So you can also use, you know, some mechanical classes or, you know, any of our CAD classes, but you can sub in some classes and you really just want to look at the number of hours because all of our classes are four hours credits. You know, those classes may not be four hours. You've got to get to 60 hours. All right. So um, that being said, um, I can help you. You want to look two semesters ahead always, always, always. And we have to have two semesters ahead at all times in the system. So I can help you. Any of your advisors can help you. And uh, yeah, you may want to take a CAD CAM class and you're an architectural person. Nothing wrong with that. There are architectural firms that actually machine stone like uh, Escobedo Construction. Um, so, you know, having uh, two sides of the coin there is really, really helpful. All right. So uh, if you are a mechanical person, I am your advisor. And even if you're not, I can help you look two semesters ahead because I have that visibility.